dun, dun, dun. Oh, Bridgie, Bridgie, how was I supposed to know? That rope only works in tension. Oh, Bridgie, Bridgie, I shouldn't have hired an architect. Because now the bridge is falling. Let's play Polly Bridge one more time. Oh, Bridgie, Bridgie. Uh, I don't pay me editors enough. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Poly Bridge 2 with a musical intro. Uh, we're going straight into the workshop. We are clicking this little button down here. Hello. And we are in the Poly Bridge classic worlds. Last time we got onto world 4, the ancient ruins. We completed the double monster jump. We didn't get the... We didn't get under budget or unbreaking, but honestly, it was just a load of tweaking. I might come back and do that on off camera just for the, for the perfectionists out there. But for now, we're on to crisscross so this is level four six from polybridge one we're of course in polybridge two this is the level uh so basically this camper van goes first so we've got to do like a diagonal bridge up there and then we've got hydraulics we've got two hydraulics to play with and then we got to make it go down there so basically we have a bridge like that we've just got to make it move like that but unfortunately to do that it's got to go left as well so i imagine we're going to be moving like parts of this rather than all of it because uh, there's no limit on road so we can bring a bit of road like pretty close. I'll build a truss underneath that. All right, so that's all connected. So let's just hope that we can fit under that gap. Is it big enough? Oh, just. Okay, so that's good. So yeah, we get to that. Then the hydraulics go. Then this guy goes. So essentially, all I need to do, all I need to do is just like rotate this end. Like, could I do, could I make it end up like that somehow. All right. Well, anyway, I want to detach. Do I want to detach all of it? Why not? Let's detach all of it. So that is, that's a joint now. So that will become detached. We need hydraulics in place. I mean, to be honest, I just want to like pivot this about a point. Probably like there. So if I put a joint in there, so the two's on that side, the ones are on that side. Make that a joint so we can potentially connect to it. And I could just rope up to there and lock that in. So that should hold this in place. That shouldn't move. And then I'll probably want to use hydraulics to move this rather than gravity. But let's see what happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this muscle wasn't strong enough. So you know what that means? It's time for the triple muscle. Look at that. So basically, rather than the force being spread between two, it's now spread between three beams, which means it holds perfectly, sort of. Just don't ask that guy. And I think I'm literally on something here, though. So if I just hydraulic, like, I don't know. I don't know the best way of hydraulicing this. If I go like that and contract, will that go far enough? So he gets up, then this hydraulic contracts so that it tilts that way. Yeah, it doesn't quite go far enough. I imagine that jump will just break everything. I was right. All right, and then if I just do some crazy mathematics and really think with my brain, I can work out that needs to be 0.9% reduction with an angle of 37 degrees, which means that will move to there. Okay, I think I've got it. I definitely didn't trial and error this off camera. But basically, when this moves now with the hydraulic there, that should lock in boosh like that. And the question is, will that hold or will it break? Oh, it's going to be close. Yes, we did it. No. Does that count as breaking? I think I actually did. It. I don't think that counts as breaking. Yes, I did it without breaking because it broke afterwards. So it doesn't count. So let's go to the gallery and have a look. So I did this for 17 grand. What? The cheapest one did it for six grand. Oh, it's dangly rope. Oh, what? Okay. What? <laughs> I mean, I, I shouldn't laugh really because mine did break afterwards as well. All right. This is the first one that doesn't cheese it. Oh, my God. Oh, what? What? Okay, a lot just happened there. No way. <laughs> this guy had no problem doing that. But yeah, if you watch again, you can see as the camper van goes over there, this then drops away. And then as this goes, it's slowed down by the like swing thing. I guess that's so it lands like on, on the ground and not the bridge. Uh, this one, it has like a swing underneath. Whoa. Did they slow that down? Did they slow down time? What? <laughs> that's so like movie and then the swing pushes it so it lands on its wheels okay that's pretty good that is actually pretty good that and then this end is just a butt flap we don't actually lose the pieces it just flaps nice so yeah as always to get a high score on these the answer is usually to not use any hydraulics on the hydraulic levels <laughs> okay oh intrigued by this use of hydraulic what is gonna happen there does this actually this rotates about the middle does it All right hydraulics oh wait whoa look at that <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. That's sort of what I wanted to do, I think. Yeah, but just done very, very more accurately, I guess. There yeah, we got... Look at that. That is really cool. It's like a bow tie. Oh, it flips over. Whoa. <laughs> 
I like that. Meanwhile, I would be on page three with these chumps. Like, what is that? <laughs> what actually is that? Is that just... Oh, yeah, it's just a rotate about the middle one. And they use ropes to get a node in the middle. Nice. Anyway, to the last page. My favorite page. Because people spell my name and draw knobs. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Thank you, not Leo. There uh, we got this one. Oh, no. <laughs> Dangly balls. I think this is quite an old bridge. Uh, gravity has taken effect on it. Yeah, the right one is sad. Left one is happy, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh, a bit, bit too far, that one. Matt. Yeah, we've then got this. I was about to say we've then got this, which isn't a meme one. But I think it very much definitely is. Oh my goodness, that was huge. Um, Yeah, I, was, I sort of thought like maybe they just built like a really inefficient bridge using steel and stuff. I was surprised it got to the uh, to the max budget of 56 grand. But uh, yeah, we we realized why in the end. Whoa, Trussy McGee, Nifty UK. Oh, Nifty. Nifty, get it? That's, that's a really good product name for like a tea company. If you haven't started that yet, I might steal that one. Nifty, coming soon. Certified by proper engineers and Paddy. Uh, this one, I don't even know what's going on. What even? <laughs> what just happened? I'm sorry, but let's watch that again. Is it being... I think it's being pulled. There's like a rope between them. What is going... How did it... What? <laughs> and then it just all dies. I'm so confused. Anyway, on to the next level. Fork jump. So what do we have here? We have two pretty fast cars. Oh, have you got to end up at different places? Yeah, look, we have a hydraulic thing in between. So basically, oh, we've only got five bits of road as well. Blimmanel. Yeah, basically, I think we need to build some sort of jump. So something like that, I reckon. Ready? Oh, dear. It looks so strong, but it wasn't. All right, well, I've just added a few more wall braces. So hopefully, like, the weight of the car going up there will sort of push the force against this wall. Uh, and of course, walls can't break. So that should be good. Perfect. Oh, we... <laughs> We missed the flag. No, Mr. Man. Uh, okay, let's bring the jump down a bit. So is that better? Nice. So that's first flag. Second car should be going a bit faster. No. Okay, looks like we do actually need to do some hydraulic in. So if we swap that for a hydraulic and just make that expand like 8%. So basically, first jump happens, lands beautifully, and then that extends a little bit. And then, oh no, it all, it all died. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Actually, I'm going to leave that as wood. And what I'm going to do, I think this could be, this could be ingenious. I'm going to do like a broken tip, shove that there expand by 50% and then what I'm hoping is that will like so that car should go off no worries and then look at this boing and then we have a longer ramp suddenly so that flies off oh no oh I thought I did it first time <laughs> okay if I start a tiny bit higher then that should be fine all right so ready huh Oh, no, it broke. Ah, oh, we didn't make it anyway. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Uh, censor that, editor. <laughs> censor that. Blimmin' out. All right, so we've got it to a point where it doesn't break anymore. There are muscles everywhere in there. <laughs> You could say the entire thing was a muscle, really. Uh, but we finally did it without breaking. We spent 15 grand of our 16 grand budget, though. It doesn't leave much profit for us. However, let's see where we place in the gallery. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. Oh, we're just on the second page. How many are there on the third page? Oh, man, there's not many. Okay, we're definitely in the bottom half. Not ideal. But first off, let's see the absolute cheapest way to do this. Oh, wow. Look at the finish on that jump. Yeah, basically super efficient engineering. Look at the second one. Oh, that's very different. We've got like a cable stayed section. That's usually never cheap in this game. Yeah, but it appears all the other ones are also cable stayed. Oh, look at this one as well. They've got they got rope made out of wood. They've got rope made out of rope. And they've got decent jump. What is that land? What is that? I've got to watch again. Does that do anything? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose of that is. There's like a little gnome man over that side. And it's still cheaper than mine as well. Anyway, the most expensive solution, woolly frog. Yeah, that is a hell of a tower you got there. <laughs> so excessive. I love it. But uh, yeah, the jump works perfectly. Fair play. I can't believe we actually haven't infected this one. Like I infected it myself, but I thought everyone would. Oh, there we go. There we go. I was going to say. I was going to say. Had me worried there for a second. Polybridge community. There we go. Oh, that's one. That is one way to do it. Just bridge over. Like make your make your road finish there, but just actually build a bridge. Fair play. Uh, Dan, that one actually looks pretty similar to mine, to be honest. <laughs> actually, nearly the same price. So yeah, not too surprising. This one, they went mental on top. I think that's just all going to rotate up. Yeah, so just tilting the entire bridge. Nice. How is this one expensive? It doesn't look very expensive. I won't lie. I guess because they just got loads of rope holding it there. Yeah, it's got to be it. Right, anyway, now we're on to ooh, downward tube, also known as an anus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dear. Right. So we got to get this car to 
land under there. So if we just press play. Aha. Okay. I can see the issue there. So I think what we want to do, we basically want to, I tell you what, I'm sort of thinking if I just shove a bit of road up there, like that's just vertical road. That might actually push it back a little bit. Yeah, it does. I'll probably cat flap it out again. But if we just shove some road under there, shove a spring like that, and then make that compress, that should ping up. Okay, not enough. Oh, nearly enough. Nearly enough. We just make that a bit more compressed. Right, ready? Ready? Oh, I thought I only had the torque. I could make that a little bit longer. All right, look at this. Look at this. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. No. No, it's trapped. Oh, that was nearly beautiful. Oh, that's actually quite annoying. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Could I replace this? It might actually be cheaper. So that costs 400 quid. If we do road to there, that's 250 quid. And another piece like that. And then swap the bottom with wood. So that's 325. So that's a lot cheaper, actually. So if that does the same thing. Okay, it didn't do the same thing. I'll tell you what, though. I feel like... Oh, oh. <laughs> what the frick? Let's watch that again. How did that bounce so much? Whoa! Anyway, I feel like I could get this to work because I can just get that to be a bit bouncier. So perhaps make it 90% compressed. Oh no, it flips all the way upside down. Right, I tell you what, I tell you what. What if we, what if we lose? Let's lose the spring, and if we just, we just try and like prop that up. Okay, that didn't work. All right, spring back in, but it's not compressed or stretched. Oh, so annoying! Oh, oh, oh! Yes. Oh no, not quite. Okay, let's just speed up. Is anything going to happen when that touches the wheels? Is it going to? Oh, 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 oh. Right, well, what if we just make this longer then? What if we try like that? So it comes down. Yes. Oh, yes. We did it for a grand. Question, can I tweak this so it costs under a grand? That is my aim. Oh, yeah. Easy. That was easy. Right, I just made this top bit shorter and I realized I don't actually need the bottom anymore. Like, look at this. Ready? Boosh, boosh. Oh, it's so close. I wonder if I just slightly tilt that like left to try and... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, the smallest tweaks make the biggest of differences. Yeah, like, look at this. Look. Oh, it's so close. Please just roll. Oh, it's so close. Oh, hang on. Hang on. It's getting pushed towards the flag. That's actually moving closer. Right, speed up. Come on, patience. Come on, patience. Okay, it didn't happen. Okay, so what if I put the world's shortest bit of road just there? Like, that might... Okay. <laughs> okay, that didn't work as planned. All right, well, sod it. We'll go back to this one. We know it is possible to do for, like, 300 quid. I just don't have the patience these days. Oh, and the top price is zero quid. So I'm glad I didn't waste my time trying to do that. What? How? What? <laughs> It just drives, but they used zero quid. What? You know, with 70 quid. Oh, yeah. All you have to do is slow the... Oh, man. Is that really all you have to do? Slow it down. Like this one, they drop something on the bonnet. Oh, man. Look, this whole first page, they're all just 70 quid. And then they're up to 71, then 72. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I spent time actually building a bridge. Well, not really. I guess I still cheesed it, just not as elegantly as most of these people. Yeah, I'm in the top half, though. We were we were just about cheap in this one, which uses... Oh, it drops something on and catches. And am I the only person that didn't drop something on it? No, that one... Oh, look. They did a little a little barrier at the start. Master Chief. Anyway, page 11. All right, Valnix. What have you got for me? Oh, man, look. They've gone mental on springs. So I think this was the intended solution to put it in a long... So oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe that's not the intended solution. <laughs> yeah, this neck, oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> right, that one, I'm not sure what's happened to the end of yours, mate. Not gonna lie. But how come this one's full of dong? But the level before that was literally, like, I did the dong on that one. No one else thought to do it, but they did on this one. Knob. <laughs> The body bridge devs must, like, hate me. I'm so sorry. Oh, this one, right. So, ooh. So they allowed the initial bounce and then just tried to catch it. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Is that another knob? I don't even know if that's a knob or just, like, efficient engineering. Anyway, now we're on level nine, a falling tower. So let's have a look at this. So we've got a car up there. It's got to end up over there. There's two spans low down. So that just comes across and plops to the water. So I think what we need to do, we need to build a bridge over here. So little trusses like that. I've since learned if you move those ones closer, uh, it's cheaper and stronger. So hopefully that will work. And then we just got to get that over to there. So I'm thinking something like that with road on top. So as that drives on, it, it misses it completely. All right. So if I just move these nodes over that anchor point, like move them all left a bit like that, then that should allow as this goes, it should drive on first. No, hang on. <laughs> all right. There we go. There we go. Right. So it's driving on and then 
death. So it knocks that and then it leans forward and then it should land on there. Beautiful. Then across that bridge and we've completed it. However, our solution does have brakes. So I guess the question is, can you do this without it falling and breaking? I mean, to be honest, I could probably go like one, two, three, four. And then that should fall onto that. So if I do something like that, then hopefully that will work. It shouldn't move at all. It's just a case of does the car go fast enough? Yes. Oh, it nearly blew and cleared that gap. I want, could I like tweak this so it does that? And then I don't need that bridge at all. All right, so it lands. Boosh, boosh. No. All right, so let's try that then. So I've just I just made this a little bit lower so it lands. Oh, it does a crazy front flip. All right, so let's try that. So it comes across here, goes down there, lands. Oh, perfect front flip onto its wheels. We've completed it. 15,158 quid. Let's have a look in the gallery. And we're looking for the first one without one of these asterisks because they're, they're just cheating, basically. They're a breaking bridge. So that would be this one. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's... Oh, look at that. That's literally what I said. If I'd spent hours tweaking like this guy did, <laughs> uh, then yeah, that's how I would have done it. The old bounce over the final span. Decent. Now, what is going on with that one? You've cheated. <laughs> they used a single bit of road that's really long. That's cheating. Uh, the next non-breaking one is that. So this is second place, pretty much. Uh, very similar to mine, just way more efficient. But yeah, it seems like most people got the same general idea as myself. Although that one, they didn't. I should have just bridged over like that rather than go from the bottom. That'd be way cheaper. Like this guy did a falling one with steel, so it didn't break. So it lands and it's still cheaper than... Oh no, it's not cheaper than mine. Phew. But yeah, that's basically my design. Fair enough, slot muffin. <laughs> Why would you call yourself that? Uh, to the last page. Right. <laughs> Amazing. So we've got the power of engineering here, riding at the tip down to there. Boosh. Now there is a small break. I'm going to ignore that for this one though, because it is so efficiently designed. And then a bit of a bit of an arch with a counterweight dangling underneath. Good engineering work. Uh, this. Oh my goodness. What is even? What? Why is there so much steel in the middle? What is that one? I don't even understand. <laughs> Uh, this one. Oh, look, we got like steps down. Whoa, it does forward roll down. <laughs> uh, this one, we have lots of steel. It's landed on the bridge. Nice. Uh, oh, someone's gone with the equilateral triangles here. Decent. And what do we have here? We've got like steps, but did we, was there a road limit on this one? I don't understand why there's gaps in it. There wasn't a road limit, was there? Oh, yeah, there was. There was a road limit. Okay, so that's why they did it. There was a road limit. Anyway, on to 410. Flip flop. Oh, and it's a hydraulic one. Why do I always... Oh, the... The hydraulic ones kill me. Okay, so what we got to do, we've got to get... So the A goes first. So this guy and that boat go at the same time. I tell you what then, I think it's worth just building like over that. All right, so I built this a little, a little bridge with a little jump over the top. So as you can see, the boat is going underneath and the, the moped goes across. He should bridge the gap. Yes, perfect. So he goes for that flag and then that moped goes. So... Basically, I need to then joint that and somehow bring this down without everything failing. Oh man, my brain's hurting already. All right, so I've got that. I think that's probably going to be a little bit steep for this moped to get up. Yeah, thought so. All right, so the question is, can I get this guy to go up like a little step? Because if I can put a little ramp there, I've, I've connected it to those two, so it shouldn't go anywhere. Basically want to know, can he drive up there? Yes. Oh, no. Okay, what if we give it a bit of an incline? Is this going to work? Because it could work. If he can... I don't think it's going to work. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I just had a plan. I just had a plan. I could perhaps push him on there using like a cat flap. So if I do hydraulic to there, do a bit of road up like that. All right, so that might push him onto the ramp, right? So ready? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, what if we just have a big bit of road resting on him? So as he tries to go forward, no, it stops him wheeling up. Okay. All right, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe I don't want him to use this bridge. So if we just leave that bridge there, can we get him across down here somehow? Hmm, actually, I'll tell you what, couldn't I, can I just move this one down to there? No, I've just realized the second boat goes up the same time as the second moped. So we're going to have to do it this way. All right, tell you what then, what about something like this? So he goes across like that, then this bends down. Oh. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, it so nearly works, but he can't get up. I'm wondering, do I need to... Maybe I need to come off there. Because uh, now I've got it pretty nailed in. So that that touches. You can't go any lower than that. But he can't get up. Oh, okay. 
I know what I've got to do now then. I think I've just got to move everything sort of left a bit. The trouble with doing that is we then don't make that jump. I mean, I could put a temporary bit of road in. I don't know how that's going to help with the car later on though. Anyway, after a good like 15, 20 minutes of tweaking, far too long. Look, it finally locks in. Beautiful. But then the moped can drag... <laughs> All right, I think I'm using too many hydraulics. Let's try and do this simpler. So if I literally just do that, I know it probably won't end up there, but it might end up sort of close. All right, okay, guessing closer. If I just raise that up a bit and that should come down further. Oh, actually, oh, I didn't know that. I did not, oh, I didn't even, oh, mate, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I didn't even realize that the, the blooming road goes through the ground. Why did no one tell me I could have done this eight hours ago? I've been doing this level for like an hour. All right, I don't even care how much are we. We're under 10 grand. That's good enough for me. We're on the second page. I will take that. <laughs> oh, I hate hyd how did this what? Five grand? Shut up. How did that? No, that's not fair. How did that moped get up there? Mine wouldn't, mine wouldn't do that. Let's have a look at, so how, how did they get that moped to go up? I tried for hours. Mine wouldn't do that. Oh, I need to go to the last page to cheer myself up. Oh, there's not even any knobs. What's the point of this? Any, what's the point? Oh, that's quite cool though. Did you see that? That was decent. Fair play. And when the moped man hits the flag, oh, the whole thing like tilts, rotate. Is that how these all work? What's that dangly bit at the end? What's going on there? <laughs> right, intrigued to see what happens when that flag gets touched. Whoa, that's a lot of movement. That's really the most expensive one. I mean, fair play, it's pretty cool. Like using the old ropes to... uh to rotate everything. Oh, I feel like even the expensive ones, they did this so easily. I hate hydraulics. Anyway, the next level is cross jump, which I assume is another, it's another jump in the air sort of one. So that's going to take a lot of tweaking. So we'll do that one next time. But for now, I'll say peace, love and bridges. Bye guys.